Okay, I'm just gonna spend a little second or so trying to set up this webcam. Look at my desk. Oh no. Here we have a USB flash drive and some type C on the go adapters. You can actually just buy these from eBay. Um, and so what they do is they take a type C port like on your computer or phone. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use this OTG adapter to attach a uh, phone to it and charge it as if it was at like at the back of a computer. So we have this one that I have a tick on it and we have a cable. So what we're going to do is plug one in into here, the other end into my phone, and then we're going to plug it into the type C port. And you can see my phone has started up. Um, it's drawing a little bit of power, 0 0.5 amps. When I plug these into an actual computer, we have more problems. Um, this tick one seems to work okay. This one doesn't support USB 3. And you have to wiggle it and put it in certain ways. So that's not great. This, this one doesn't work at all and triggers the overcurrent detection in the, uh, in the computer. That's not good, right? So let's just open them up and see what's up with these. Um, and so we have our OC one here that triggers overcurrent. It triggers it even when nothing is plugged in. So let's slice this boy open. Getting into this is, is not going to be that easy. All right. So we've got the, the full thing. So that's the inside of the connector. So if we compare it to something like this, um, that's what it will be like. So could it be that some of the pins are not working, not connected properly? So I'm gonna run my knife over this a little bit to see if there's anything loose. I don't see anything really loose. So I don't see any bad joints really. Those joints look fine. Not entirely sure though. This seems to be off a little bit. Offset just a little bit. So this is probably ground. No, power. This would be ground. No? Maybe this? Or this? Where's my ground at? Well, touch the joints on here. What about over here? This would kind of explain why this one is having overcurrent issues. This pin over here is power. The opposite pin here would be ground. Nope, no ground. You kind of need ground, don't you? Uh, let's just turn this around and try connecting from this, this is definitely ground to the pins. Could it be that this isn't ground, this is shield? So is this just shielding and not ground? That shouldn't be correct. Sometimes there's no ground, it's all right. No, it's not all right. Well, let's just say this is, this is the ground. And so it should probably be connected to here. Wow. 
What? That doesn't look good, does it? Looks stinky in the bad way. Yeah, what? If we look over to the left, I think that's our ground pin. Let me use my knife to trace this. So you have what I assume is ground over here, this one with the hole, and then it goes all the way down here to this pin here. And I believe this pin would connect with the case earth thing. So I believe ground was over here. Or is that power? None. But you can kind of see how all these pins here are just kind of lifted up here. Like that's not supposed to happen, is it? You don't want that one soldering. All right, so this might be ground then. And that would make sense because uh, it's going to these vias in different places instead of being a single signal. So let's just double check. Is it even connecting on the PCB? Yeah. So that beeps. What about if I touch the ground over here? No ground over here. No touchy. What about on the like solder contact here? It's not making contact, is it? I'm not sure if that's because I've got a lack of a depth perception here. But let's just try poking up over here. There's a lot of gunk on there, so it seems like Maybe it's not soldered. Um, but then this ground should be connected to the shielding here. Or not. Let's at least see if it's connected on the... Oops. So. Oh. So yeah, it doesn't... It does not connect to the shielding but it connects over here. And do any of them on this side? No. Well, that might be shielding. Could it be that I'm just doing it wrong? Are my probes making the right amount of contact? You know what, we could probably just break the plastic off. Oh yeah, my pliers was holding that up. There we go. Well, that went somewhere in my room. So that connects there and that should connect here. But it does not. So that's weird. That could explain why that one was broken. Let's get the uh, the one that has broken USB 3. And let's uh, grab this one open. I didn't think hammering could cause this to happen. That's so... Like, I know solder joints aren't strong, but come on, dude. Oh. Like, buddy. Your joints shouldn't be like that. 
Like, what the hell? I didn't cut that off. It's way too clean for it to be like a soldering job that's gone wrong. Like, that didn't even lift any traces. That's, uh... We should be able to gently, like, push it through. Like, the PCB's right there. We just need to be able to gently push it through to get it out. Wait, does that mean I can just jaw this open then? No. And my pliers might actually be stuck. I have a flathead screwdriver. Let's see if that can help. Oh my god. Please don't tell me I lost the one part of this which was interesting. Is it on the floor? I'm not looking on my floor. It was on the floor and I looked on my floor. Okay. Regarding the damage on the second one, I can't rule out that it's like related to the stuff I've done. Um, I would not be surprised. But at the same time, like... I mean, the joints for the USB thing here look less nasty. Um, I didn't find a resistor pulled out of that sludge. Yeah. See, only this part here seems to have a significant amount of solder on it. The uh, top, uh, one of the pins there. I'm also not sure about these lines of gunk at the end over here. Towards the very end. I don't know if that's my doing. Um, like, how would that have come off unless it was soldered really, really bad without ripping any of the pads? Like, are any of the pads ripped off with this? Yeah, I don't see any pads on these, on these ends. What we might actually do as a scientific experiment, there, I've ripped the pad, the, the ends off this one. And it still has all this gunk. This one definitely looks a lot grosser. Um, no pads ripped off on the underside. On the top, yeah, you can kind of see the third pin from the top on the left has a bit of a pad attached to it. Or maybe not a pad, but some junk here. I mean, that definitely looks like there's something ripped off. Uh, over here. Same kind of vibe there. It looks like there's been bits lifted. If we look at the other one here. It's a lot cleaner. It's not to say it hasn't like ripped anything up, but uh, all I'm seeing is just bentness. Like, would you be able to tell which one was on a board? The previous one that I just showed looked kind of okay in this one. I mean, you can see solder on them. And, uh... I think gunk everywhere. It just one that one just looks a lot more crusty than uh this one. Oh no, this one looks hella crusty.
Like, I don't know, I might be tripping here. But this one just doesn't look like it's been, uh... But then again... Oh, you can kind of see little globs of solder there, like if I put them next to each other. Yeah, I don't know. Let's compare how they were pulled off. So this is the one that was pulled off just now. And this is the one that was just pulled off originally in the process of doing stuff. The one on the left doesn't scream like it had a good time soldering. Like, can I even cause that much damage? Like, if I rub my knife on the pans, like I'm really trying to get it off. And then rub my pliers against it, like, really bad. And then smash it with the screwdriver. Can I get the same kind of thing to happen? Not really, you can't make the solder kind of blob like that. Like, this area over here, like, despite all my junk just now, um, the solder hasn't magically, like, that almost looks like a bridge over there. I mean, although you see kind of the same thing over here a little bit, but that's just blue in between. It's not grey kind of bridging, especially these splotches over here. Um, we've also lost a resistor on the other side of uh, this one. And I'm pretty sure that, I mean, I want to say I'm sure that the resistor um was gone when i took it off but how did how would you get that led off like that could i try and get my led off this one like that like oh i'm trying to get this out oh yeah i did it what's that look like in comparison like i'm not sure if it's because of the lighting or whatever. But in general, the one on the right, which I just butchered, seems a lot more shinier and it has more depth. Like, I'm kind of... I don't know, I guess my prognosis there, based on nothing more than staring at this stuff and taking it apart, is that one of them just wasn't soldered very good. And the other one was just kind of... I don't know. Like, it looks a lot greyer. Overall. Um, a lot more blobby. It looks like... It almost looks like if you had solder paste, but you didn't heat it up enough. I don't know. Like, you can definitely tell the shape is a lot more blobby on the left one when you look at it this way, while on the right, even after pulling stuff off and scratching it up, uh, stuff is just a lot more straighter. It's a lot more consistent. And you have these kind of indentations where it was soldered to the thing I pulled off. I'm not sure if it has it or not on this doesn't look like it. So yeah, that's just my mystery today. Um, it makes me wonder about whether I should even use this one that that works. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Someone on eBay reported that it uh, stopped working after a while. My main like fear from it is that if I plug it in and it's like not grounded and it will just short through the data pin. I don't want that. Is COS probably streaming now? Let's see. Let's go raid COS. Yeah. So I'm just now going to end the stream.
Ah, those fuckers go over to COS. Pathetic. It didn't even sub to me today. Pieces of shit. Let's get this shit cleaned up and, uh, I don't know, it's just a piece of shit all over my desk, for what now? Just so some internet plebs could enjoy it? Like, not worth it at all, dude. Like, what even, what even is this shit? Didn't even finish my kombucha. Um, oh shit, I'm still on? Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop streaming now. Fuckers, what idiots. Nagging me in the stream like that. Like, what the hell? You know, I'm just gonna make my bot ban them. It's okay, it's okay, jerks. It's okay. They're not your friends. They're just people on the internet. And you can ban them. Just fucking do it. Just ban them. Shit. Uh, how do you turn 